I had a nice long break. Um, I needed a good break. I spent some time with the family because we have a lot of things planned for this year. So I'll be doing a lot of travelling. So a nice long break. I put on a bit of weight. So we started training yesterday again. And you were saying you don't feel very well today as the result of the, the yeah, training Yeah, I felt so guilty, uh, you know, putting on so much weight that I wanted to really work out hard yesterday and I was very noisy this morning. I didn't feel too well. So I spoke to my manager, Nick, and I said, Nick, I don't feel well. And um, he said, come on, you'll be better. Have a cup of tea. So here we are. We're here. Mm. Well, there was a chance that you might have had to cancel. Well, I wasn't. I, I, um, some things that I ate, I brought back up, so I wasn't feeling too well at all. But um, mm. I'm glad I'm here now. And I hope you're enjoying your morning tea. Uh, <laughs> Stan, I, I'm told that there's going to be uh, another surge film-wise around the world uh, of kickboxing because there was a, one movie that was made in Hollywood which, you know, was a bit of a sleeper that all of a sudden took off. And it's pretty big news once again in the movie world. Is this the sort of thing that you'd like to do? Definitely. I don't plan on fighting for the rest of my life. I mean, I'm, my manager and I are planting seeds in the future, so I'm hoping, to, you know, to exploit maybe the movie industry if I can. Hopefully, with this title that I've won, it'll open a lot of doors for me. Uh, later in the year, actually, around September, I'll be, fi I'll be filming in Hong Kong and in the Philippines with a very, very exciting action-packed sort of movie star, Jackie Chan, who's mm -hmm. very big in the audience. So. You know Chuck Norris too, don't you? Yeah, I know Chuck quite well. He's uh, helped me quite a lot, you know, through the traps in, in the United States. Yeah. Nice guy? He's a beautiful guy. Out of all the celebrities I've met, he's probably the most down-to-earth guy. That's terrific. I, I suppose, too, if you, if you make it in, into the, uh, the movie world, doing this sort of... The, the thing is, there wouldn't be a lot of competition because it's not everyone can kick box, mm. can they? Um, well, see, what they've done is they've experimented. They've had actors that are good actors and try to help them to become, you know, like martial artists on the screen, or they've had good fighters to try to help them as actors, you know, on the screen. So I think it's worked out better that ex-fighters that uh, haven't really been beat up too bad and have a pretty good vocabulary and they speak quite well, it's... It's sort of evident that those guys come out better on screen. So mm -hmm. we'll see how it goes anyway. I mean, Jean-Claude Van Damme, who apparently has had quite a few fights in the past, and he's really doing very well at the moment. Good-looking guy, good physique, and uh, he's really, you know, laughing all the way to the bank. And I've got a feeling he's going to be one of our special guests on the Logies, which we're looking That's forward fantastic. to. Which will yeah. be uh, wonderful. You also met one of my favourite actors of all time, who waited until his 70s before he was able to get a... Uh, I was going to say a Logie, a gold Oscar, and that is, uh, and that's Jack Palance. Jack Palance, yeah. I was very fortunate to meet him on the set at Tango, uh, Tango and Cash with, with Sylvester Stallone and Kurt Russell, mm -hmm. and we were sitting there together and we were talking. He's a big fight fan himself, and um, actually he had a fight scene to do, and he wanted a couple of tips on the fight scene, so we had a good talk and had some lunch together. He's a good, good guy. Nice and who's guy. that with you? Was that? Uh... That's Philip Tan on the right hand oh, right. side. Yep. Philip Tan was uh, the fight choreographer for the movie. And uh, through him, I, got, I was on, on the set there and uh, very fortunate to meet a lot of his names there. He's a pretty tall boy, isn't he, Jack Palance? Very tall. I mean, I'm supposed to be the heavyweight champion of the world and he makes me look like a little mouse, Yeah. He? And he's, I mean, he's what, he's 72, 73 years of age yeah. and obviously in pretty good shape. In very good shape. Did you see him on the night of the Oscars when he did all the push-ups? No, I didn't. Ah, oh, it was just, just wonderful. How, he, many, how many did he do? I don't know, but he wanted to prove to producers and directors everywhere that even though he's in his 70s, he was still alive, kicking, shape. and in darn good shape. Yeah. Big night for him. Let's relive uh, the memories, short that they may be, back in December, when uh, you got into that ring, and very soon the whole night was over. Let's have a look. Go, go. I think mistake number one on his part was uh, wearing the skirt. <laughs> yes, um, well actually Dennis Alexa has been fighting out of Hawaii so he's been wearing that to sort of, you know, to make his people proud there or something, I don't know. But um, a lot of people felt that I was intimidated in the fight and I might have looked that but I'm just glad that when the bell did ring, you know, sort of the animal came out of me and I fired up when I had to. I mean I was very composed, there was a lot of people there and I knew I was going to be nervous and he looked in great shape, he looked very intimidating and I could see people ringside clapping saying, come on Stan, you can do it, you can do it. But I could read the expression on their face like, I'm glad it's you and not me. Yeah, sort of certainly, thing. certainly. What but about your next bout? When will that be? You obviously, as you say, back into training. Yeah, I'm scheduled for two fights in Tokyo, my next two fights. The first one will be March 30th. I'll be fighting a Japanese fighter, their hero there called Satake. He's a very, very well-known fighter in Japan so by beating Satake, well, well, there's a big market in Japan and I really want to exploit that market and um, by beating him, I'm on my way there. So. Mm. Have you got your, your feet insured? No, I haven't, no. Might be worthwhile, you know, because, I mean, they, they really are your means of, of making a living. Uh, Betty Grable in years gone by had uh, her legs in, insured. Mm. Marilyn Monroe, uh, she had, I think, her face insured and uh, Warren Beatty had 
he had an insurance <laughs> policy too. So it might be worthwhile getting the old Tootsies yeah, I'll have uh, done. To look into it. Great to see you again, Stan. Pleasure. Thank and you. And good luck much. in all that you do. Thanks. Stan Longini. Stan the man. And good luck to his manager, Nick, too. Okay, this is Good Morning Australia. Here we